Hello, and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, importing a TXT or ASCII file, I'm going to show you how you can import a text or ASCII file into Eclipse so that you can edit it. Importing RTFs is always recommended whenever possible, especially when working with someone else in a different CAT system. However, there may be times where you find yourself having to import an ASCII file, and here's how you can do it. I'm in Eclipse, and first I'm going to create a blank file. I'm going to call my file ASCII import, and I'll press OK, and then Yes to create the blank file. Once I'm in the blank file, I can go to File, Import, and I can browse to wherever my ASCII file that I want to import is saved. In this case, it's on my desktop. After choosing my desktop, in the bottom right where it says File Type, I'm going to click the drop-down box and choose Text ASCII. Now you see that I have an ASCII file that I can import. And after selecting it, I have options. I can choose to only import numbered lines, and I can choose to import the data onto fixed paragraphs. Choosing to import only the numbered lines might be helpful if there are title pages at the beginning and end of the ASCII file. These may not import well, and you may prefer to read in your own block files instead. Importing the data into fixed paragraphs can be very helpful when you're importing data that you want to put into a block file. This will import all of the data onto blank fixed lines that you can then modify to your needs. And when working with small blocks of text, for things like block files, this may be helpful. If you do check import only the numbered lines, you have the option to start on a specific line. If the header appears on line one throughout the document, you might want to increase this to two. At the bottom, you also have the option to trim spaces from the left-hand margin. This is typically not necessary, and so the default setting of negative one is typically correct. Since I want to import regular text, I'm going to leave all of these options at default and press OK. The text will process and import into my blank document. After the import is done, I'm taken to the end of the file, and I can hit Control Page Up to get to the beginning of the file. Since this is an ASCII instead of an RTF, I don't have any steno notes or time codes available. However, all of the text has imported correctly and is formatted according to my user settings. If all you have is an ASCII, you can always import it into Eclipse in order to continue editing and working on it when necessary. However, as I said, if you're working with someone on a different CAT system, using RTFs is always preferable. RTFs will contain the steno notes and time code information, allowing you to use audio sync. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.